So what I'm going to do is, in the sake of um, the lesson, then imagine that's dry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. How long would it normally take to dry? Um, I I never use a dryer, a hair dryer, uh, because it also affects the surface of the paper, and I like mostly because I like divine intervention. And divine interventions will allow that to do, and because of the amount of time, how much moisture is in the air, how much dry, you know, where the atmosphere is, it's going to make that dry the way it's going to dry. Like, and I love that, which does not happen in the computer. And that's the reason I don't like the computer and doing this. Oh, yeah, I can get the same thing. No, you can't. There's no way you can get that because you can't. Oh, great. Um, no way you're going to get that because the computer, you cannot make that accident. Cannot make that happen. You know, you can you can force it, but it's not an accident if you force it. And I'm gonna make an accident. You can't make an accident. You know, it doesn't doesn't make sense. It's an accident. And so, um, what's going to happen here is that I will let it dry. However long it just takes to dry, you know, and depends on the atmosphere of the room will determine how long it's going to take to dry. Do you always dry indoors? Yes. Yeah, uh, unless I'm painting outside, I'm painting. If I'm painting, um, if I'm painting, um, you know, plain air, then it's going to be different. At this point, you can. And so what I'm doing now is, uh, what and actually, in this case, I might be doing this because I want that. I want that. So that's how I get that yellow in the background, and it's going to do this. 